Body Mass Index, or BMI, is one of the test options for estimating body composition in the fitness gram. Body Mass Index is not considered an estimate of the percentage of body fat. Rather, it is an indication of the appropriateness of the student's weight relative to their height. It may not be the best measure of body composition for muscular individuals. To calculate the Body Mass Index, or BMI, the examiner will need the height and weight of each student. There are a variety of measurement devices which may be used to obtain these values. The examiner also needs copies of score recording sheets. Before the day of the test, students should be provided with instructions about body composition and the objective of the BMI. The examiner should establish a location for taking and recording height and weight measurements that provides privacy to the student. Students should remove their shoes when measuring height and weight. Height should be recorded to the last whole inch and weight to the nearest pound. Remember, both height and weight are needed to calculate BMI. These values are inserted into the BMI formula. To calculate BMI, one divides the weight in pounds by the height in inches squared and multiplies the result by a conversion factor of 703. Here's an example of the BMI calculation for a student weighing 150 pounds and who is 5 feet, 5 inches, or 65 inches tall. The optional FitnessGram software is programmed to calculate BMI from the height and weight measurements. If the BMI is within the range of the healthy fitness zone for the student's gender and age, the student is considered to be in the healthy fitness zone and should continue doing regular physical activity and eating a healthy diet. If the BMI falls above or below the range of the healthy fitness zone, the student needs to identify contributing factors to determine if he or she would benefit from changes to their diet, levels of physical activity, or other behaviors. For purposes of scoring BMI on the PFT, a student whose score falls below the healthy fitness zone will be scored as being in the healthy fitness zone. This video was developed to help ensure the body mass index is administered in a manner consistent with the Fitness Gram Test Administration Manual and California Physical Fitness Test Regulations and Guidance. So basically what this means is we're going to be taking your height and your weight to try to figure out if your weight is healthy for your height. Now, there's nothing you can really do to change your height. It's kind of genetically determined. So what you can do is make sure that whatever your height is, is that your weight is a healthy weight for that height. And the way we determine if your weight is healthy for how tall you are is by doing this body mass index test. Now, we're not going to actually do the math. What we'll do is we'll plug in your height and your weight into a fitness computer and it will tell us if your BMI or your body mass index is considered to be healthy.